This is the 10 kilo yeah. empanada. 10 kilos, 22 pounds. Massive. So today we're heading out to see a piece of chili that we've never seen before. The food. I've never seen Chilean food outside of Chile. So we're gonna go see what all that's about, take you guys along with us, and hopefully we eat some really delicious things. So when we told our friends that we were doing like a self-guided food tour, they told us we had to get to a completo and we had to come here to Domino to do it. And even when our Uber driver dropped us off, he saw that we were coming here and he was like, mm, like. So I'm excited. We got two different completos. We got a very traditional kind and then we got the house completo. And wait till you see this. Okay, so a completo is basically a hot dog. It really is basically a hot dog. However, it has avocado, tomatoes, and I think the key ingredient, if I'm understanding this correctly, is about half a gallon of mayo <laughs> on top. So it is the most loaded hot dog you're probably ever going to see. You know what? I thought that was gonna taste just like a mouthful of mayonnaise. It doesn't though. It mostly just tastes like the the tomato, the hot dog, and the, the avocado. The mayo just smooths it all out. Wow, if you're on a diet, just close your eyes. So for those who have been following along, I've grown a lockdown beard. So I'm trying to, trying to get out of the way of this, uh, of this here completo. Oh wow. <laughs> That's really good. I mean, it's, it's a hot dog, but it's a good hot dog. Delicious. I, I mean, kind of makes me want to be like at a sporting event because that's what I associate hot dogs with. Um, so other than it, us not watching the hockey game right now, everything is perfect. These are hot dogs at hockey games. Oh yeah. So we don't speak very good Spanish. We ordered our two completos, but he also recommended this dish. He said it's like French fries and empanadas for two. It's literally a bucket full of french fries and empanadas with a tub of cheese. You can't hate it, can you? I mean, I know this is gonna be good. There's no way that cheese fries is not gonna be good. Perfection. And the empanadas, these are fried empanadas. Which you know are not the healthiest version of an empanada, but probably the best, let's be real here. Filled with cheese. Cheese on the inside of these and cheese on the outside of the fries. It feels like the place that you go like after a lot of drinks or something, or maybe after like a, a lot of hiking. There's a lot of hiking to do around Santiago. A game of football, soccer. Muy rico. That was a heavy meal. That is not a meal you want to eat before you're about to go do something. And I have a pretty long list of foods that we're supposed to try while we're here. <laughs> and the fry bucket is still mostly intact, but the completos are completely eaten. All right, list up, on to the next thing. Yeah. So we've been in Santiago for a while, but obviously everything's been closed due to COVID. And now we've finally gotten a chance to go outside of Santiago and taste some really good food in a cute little town about an hour away. We're just waiting for our ride right now. We're just entering the town of Palmare where we're gonna get some really good food. But just to mention that this is like a cute artisanal town that specializes in pottery. That's why this entire sign is made out of clay. We are on the side of the highway now, but that'll, that'll, that'll change. And it's this street and the other street, that's fine. I guess during tourist season, this is like Yeah, it's full. full. Yeah, we can find part of that time and walk. Wow, it's like a ghost town.
So we made it to Palmare, where we're going to explore some of the food outside of Santiago. A few of these we've had before and a few of them we've never had and they come highly recommended. We're here, Caitlin and Jorge, who are gonna walk us through this culinary feast. And the best part is, like, they just brought out the bread. It is warm inside. Everywhere you look around here, you can smell the fire burning, and meat, and bread, and pottery cooking on it. It is so damn good. Jorge is Chilean. He was born and raised in Santiago, right? No. La Florida. La Florida. Represent. <laughs> So I should have prepared for this because I don't know what anything is called. But these are traditional... Panamasado. Panamasado. Thank you, Jorge. Uh, Panamasado. Pan and this is the... Pebre. Pebre. Pebre is a, an important component of every traditional Chilean meal, right? Yes. So pebre is tomato, onion, garlic, cilantro, everything cooked really tiny some olive oil, maybe some wine or vinegar and everything, you mix everything together and then you have this pebre. The it's best really way nice. to eat pan is warm. Warm, Yeah. some butter. You can have some butter, mm. a little bit of pebre that's and nice. that's perfect. You can expect pebre and pan everywhere, like in every restaurant. Restaurant San Pedro. They just brought these cups out. We ordered Chilean wine, which is a big deal here. Sorry. What's we that? got vino de la casa. It's authentic. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, authentic. Yeah. It's from this area. That's why the cups are like this, because they're mm. from Palmaire. I'll show it to you as many times. Jesus. 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 And this is perfect. Wow, these are huge. This is yeah. one kilo. You wanted so, 10 kilo. <laughs> I petitioned to get the 10 kilo empanada that they have outside of this store. It takes one hour to make. And for people also from the US, that's like 22 pounds. Instead, we got the more reasonable one kilo empanada. Two pounds. 2.2 pounds. And we got both varieties of it. <laughs> so two kilos yeah. of empanada on here. Put that, wow. Put that next to your head. It's gonna be so hot, it's gonna burn my face off. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, it's like an English pie. Mm. On a cold day, that is exactly what you want in your belly. So, this is pino, which is like a really common filling here. It involves ground beef, egg, and chicken. And onion, olive. olives. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For size. <laughs> <laughs> this you can find anywhere. Okay. And I'm gonna try with the egg and everything. Ooh. Caitlin. Mm. Yes, it's me. Huh? What is pasta with chocolate? It is. I think it's like a cornbread with a lot of stuff inside. Onion, meat, chicken. A piece of boiled chicken. Eggs. You have boiled eggs. Olives. Some olives and maybe some pasas. And there's sugar on top. Yeah. Yeah, there's actual. That's. That's interesting. Yeah. That sounds delicious. Yeah, put stick a fork in it. You stick a fork in it. <laughs> it's very deep, so it's like kind of layered. At the bottom is the meat. Mm. <laughs> it's kind of like cream corn. It tastes a lot like cream corn. It's really good. Really good. Oh, that egg as well. It's getting cold too. Mm. It's getting cold. Mm. Is it pastel de. How do you say crab? Uh, jaiba. This is pastel de jaiba and it's uh, like a crab cake. It translates to crab cake. It's not really like indigenous to this like exact town. This is obviously more of a coastal dish, but I love crab cake and I saw it on a video and I had to take this opportunity to have it. Really good. Good choice. No, really good. I think it's cheesy too though. It looks cheesy. It does have cheese. Mm -hmm. Wow. Cheesy crab cake. I'm gonna eat like all of it. <laughs> no, it was like a giant crab cake, like the biggest crab cake I've ever eaten in my life. Cheesiest, crabbiest crab cake? With cheese on top. That's amazing. Good job, Chile. Ooh, Good. crab cake. 
crab cake. Crab cake time. Oh, man. I know this is after my own heart. It Look just has cheese. everything. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like molten lava. <laughs> but good, right? Where did they find so much crab? I don't know. That's delicious. These umitas. So this basically like a corn paste. Inside is just corn. And here you have chilena. This is like a really typical salad here. Tomato, onions, and some cilantro. Yeah. Nice. And you can also add some sugar here. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed the Chileans put sugar on everything. Yeah, this with sugar is so good. You should try it like that. See, What's the difference between umitas and tamales? I never had tamales, but. Whoa! Oh, you didn't have them in Mexico. No, so I no. think the difference is that umitas are it's just corn. There's nothing else in there. Mm. And then they mm. put the sugar on it and eat it with chilena. But that's it. Mm. Mm. Umita time. Mm. But I think also the, having it with the tomato and the onions is definitely very different than having a tamale. Yeah, it's delicious. I love it. All right, your love, favorite. Love my favorite right now off the top of my head, I would have to say the crab cake. I don't know. That's like it's so good. It's really good. But the, the choclo is is right behind it. That, like that the sweetness of the corn is just amazing, and everything is cooked so well. But I want to have more of the steak as well before. This is really good. Before too. I have my my final judgment. It's all delicious. <laughs> Let's get all of it again. Yeah. It's air, to, it's like waterproof, thankfully. I'll well, go for the corner, I might want to go for like the side. Or turn it around. Go right in the middle. Yeah, turn it around. Like this? Yeah. yeah. Is it pastel de chaiva? Chaiva? De chaiva. Like chaiva. H-A-I-B-A.